This morning we're going to do a uh, young lion for just a, her routine exam. Uh, we do the uh, carnivores every other year. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up uh, our equipment in the van here this morning. We'll put the, we'll dart the lion, have her fall asleep, make sure she's stable. Uh, one third is preparation, one third is doing the procedure, one third is taking care of the animal afterwards. This animal's name is Zuri, and she's about uh, five years old. We'll lift her up, we'll put her on the stretcher and the gurney here. And uh, we'll load her into the van, we'll drive back up to Animal Health. We'll bring her in here, we'll weigh her on the scale. In a lot of institutions, uh, not only in private practice, but especially in zoos, uh, zoo veterinarians is looked upon as they're there when an animal's sick. And that's probably the exact opposite of why a zoo veterinarian is an institution. Um, you prevent animals from getting sick. Uh, this lion was anesthetized not because she had problems, but because we're going to document her physiologic status at the time, find something maybe, and then prevent it from becoming a clinical illness. We did whole body radiographs on her to ascertain the uh, uh, skeletal and soft tissue structures of her body. So this is the heart, it's normal size and shape. If I don't know exactly, I can come in with the digital, and this is something you can't do with conventional radiograph. I can measure the width of the heart, and I can measure the length of the heart. In the other room? Yeah. Then we did whole body ultrasound on her and do a lot of measurements on the internal organs, uh, creating a database with that information. Uh, we took a lot of blood from her to evaluate not only her health status at the time, but we also have serum banking so that in the future when diseases come about, we can backtrack test her serum for that. We can donate serum to other institutions that are doing various viral titers and studies. Um, so we don't have to re-immobilize her just to get additional blood. Uh, a whole body physical exam, examine all her toenails, all her toes, her feet. Uh, we did tonometry on her eye to measure the interocular pressures of her eyes and then a full ophthalmic exam, an aural exam of the ears, and an ear mite check just to make sure she had an ear mite check. We did dental scaling, polishing of her teeth. Uh, we did blood pressures on her, pulse oximetry, capnography. We measured the levels of CO2 uh, that she was exhaling. Uh, we did colonoscopy on her as well to find any uh, parasites, uh, polyps, tumors, any abnormalities, vascular problems with the colon. Um, and uh, we did skin biopsy, and that skin biopsy is sent to San Diego Zoo for the Center of Reproduction of Endangered Species, and they will grow fibroblasts from those cells and then freeze them for further research uh, into uh, lion genetics um, and various other uh, research modalities. We're stewards uh, for all these animals, and there's so much that we don't know. They all have their unique aspects that make it difficult to care for them here uh, in an institution, uh, in any zoo, but everybody tries. You know, we're all here for a common goal.